This house is still ever so slightly confusing to me. I like the front door, but it's awkward the way there's a porch and then yeah. nothing over the door. I think keeping the door there, but I think we need to move this the sidewalk and the staircase so it lines up with the door. Yeah. Because our front yard's all choppy and weird and yeah. it's just a mess. So tidying it up. I want it very clean, but comfy and a little dramatic. So I'm thinking my version of the urban Hamptons. It's gonna be bad ASS, okay? <laughs> Wait till it's done. It's all making sense in here. Let's go look inside. This is pretty. I forgot how pretty the woodwork is. Mm -hmm. The floors look good. Yeah, oh but goodness. I love the picture rail. It's an old school picture rail. This is technically crown molding. With the picture rail. With the, yeah. It's like a little nubbin of wood and then there's a hook that kind of hangs on it. So instead of putting nails in the wall, what you do is you slide this hook wherever you want it on the picture rail and then you hang the picture from that. It's really pretty. It's a cool throw to the past. But the idea down here, I think I would kind of leave the setup as is and I would just open the openings more. Because right now when you walk in, you just get like a sliver of the yeah. kitchen. I want like two five foot openings that line up. So living room, dining room will both stay um, as they are. Kitchen will stay where it is. So my thought is this goes to outside. So French tours here off the dining room. Okay. You got this giant half bath. And then make this like a reasonable size half bath and give the rest over to the kitchen area so the kitchen can be bigger. We can maybe push this all back, get an island in here. Mm -hmm. And then we can tile this where the vinyl is right sure. now. Yeah. And leave the wood. Yeah. Okay, you wanna go upstairs? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, I like so this. So this does get bumped up. Yeah, but I like this railing. Mm -hmm. We keep this window seat. Nice. I wonder what's under the carpet. It tad tore it up in here already. It's hardwood. So I think what this makes is sense huge. is taking this chunk yeah. and making it closet, bathroom, bathroom, closet. And then we still have this really, really big bedroom. Yeah. And then the other two bedrooms and bath are gonna stay where they are and just get, let's see, fixed. This is a perfectly nice size bedroom. Uh-huh. How's your closet here? Oh, this is a nice size closet. Yeah. Oh, oh Mina, you're not gonna believe this. There's a pile of pennies. Pile. I wanna keep all the wood doors, though. Yes, the doors are fantastic. I love them. And Who left all their pennies? I'm gonna make it rain, baby. There's a lot of pennies. That's I just mom's I, digging for. I just have to start. I can't fit them all in one hand. I can't fit them all in two hands. This house is magical with pennies. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. Look at it. So hey, stick your hand in my pocket. I have no desire to do that. <laughs> this room's the smaller of the two, but still a perfectly appropriate size. So make a closet. It's got a good, oh, it's, it's got, got, a, got closet. a closet? Yeah, and it's big. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. It doesn't have any pennies, though. No. I'm a little disappointed in this closet. It had no presents for me. And the bathroom down here is gonna stay where it is. We'll just reconfigure it. Ah, okay. Here are the big ticket items that we need to tackle. We need to paint the exterior and realign the steps so that they lead to the front door. Inside, we'll expand the kitchen and convert the large upstairs bedroom into a master suite. So Steve and I bought this gem for 85,000. I think we could probably put about 130 into it, so all in at 215. I think we can sell it for at least 265, so we could make a really good profit of about 50,000, which would be great for Jack's college fund, but it is risky. We just need to be really careful with the budget and make it look like the Hamptons, but not cost like the Hamptons. It's clean water, at least. That's, that's good. Usually it's filled with poop. Yeah. It was like a right of manhood for Steve to throw this toilet out the window. Yeah. Watch out, let's get out of the room for him. One, two, let him fly! Nice. That was great. 
Oh, I was told by Ted I had to do it. It was like... When have you ever... Oh, I'm just saying, that's just what I was told. Yeah. So, has Ted ever been your boss in life? No. No. But this weird dynamic happens in settings like this where it's like, oh, well, Ted can do it, I can do it. It seemed fun. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. Come with me, sir. What are you about to show me? Oh, God, it smells bad down here. Why does it smell like this? Yeah, so Mina uh, took me downstairs to the basement, and as soon as I got the basement, I was like, that smells different than when I lived here. The sewer line detached. Oh! Oh! <coughs> I can't even look at it! <coughs> I can't do it! Oh, jeez. I can't do it. You lived here? It didn't smell like that. Tad has, like, such a weak stomach. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, you guys unhooked it. I thought he was pooping in the house with it undone. Yeah, that you was You guys undone. undid it. Wow. Two of our workers unhooked it to scope the sewer line and never rehooked it. So this stench of sewage has been just, like, wafting out into the house. So, yeah, we'll get that little problem fixed today. Oh. We've got all the doors ah. saved. Okay. Stack downstairs on a pallet so they're up in case water comes down. Awesome. You slice that all so we're good. We can save the picture rail. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Looking good. We still have a ton of demo to do, with, but once we're done, Mom and I can finalize the floor plans and start framing. So when we walk in now, we've got kind of this entryway living room but opening this space up so we can see actually into the kitchen. Okay. Uh, living room stays where it is, dining room stays where it is. Other thing that's super cool is off the dining room, we're adding French doors, so we'll have this nice big wraparound deck. The, the kitchen, mudroom, half bath area is the biggest change um, because the kitchen was wrapped around this wall. Yeah. So now we're making it a galley and then your access to your half bath in the outside See, is back there. This is nice because it, your powder room is accessible, but it's not opening into your kitchen, yeah. which is very nice. Exactly. Very nice. And then upstairs, so this whole space was master bedroom, and then we just had the closet right here. Okay. So we're sticking the shower pan in where the closet was. Okay. And then taking two thirds of the room to be master closet. It's still gonna be master huge. Master ensuite. Yeah, it's still a really big room. Excellent. I'm excited to get started. Yeah. Let's roll. All right, that was easy. Looks so different. Today, Mom and I are rolling by East Street House to check out the progress. We've gotten a lot of framing done. And we've gotten our headers in, which will allow us to open up the living room to the kitchen and dining room, making the space feel bigger. And we've made some headway on the front of the house, too. We've got the front door moved over, so the steps move over and line up with the door. I like the sight line this gives you. Yeah, you can see all the way through into the kitchen. Originally, we were gonna leave the front door where it was, but we ended up moving it over and put a window where the front door used to be, which really gives the front um, a much more balanced look. Yeah, this is just awkward. <laughs> like, let me go this way, I go this way, I go this way. <laughs> We've already gotten rid of a lot of the old porch, so we need to finish the demo there, and then we're gonna come back through with a new, more modern wooden porch, and that's really gonna up the curb appeal. All right, let's go inside. Cool. Today, we're having a broker's open at the East Street House. Um, I really wanna get some feedback about the, the finishes, what they think of it, and most importantly, the value, because this is Jack's college fund. It is not getting any cheaper. Come on in. Oh, wow. Oh, it's so pretty. I mean, the first big difference is when you walked in, you would walk into this. Yeah. Because the door was right there. Oh, no, I love how this is laid out. So now when you right. walk in, it's just like, all nice and open. Yeah. yeah, it has a really cozy feel, but still really spacious. So bumped everything over and then opened up the entryway into the kitchen and the dining room a bit. Okay. So now hopefully we have this good balance between 
you know, the separation and the open concept. I love it. My name is Josh Newman. I'm a realtor in downtown Indianapolis. My two favorite parts is that we were able to keep the original hardwood floors and that the picture rail around the top. Love the original picture rail. Yeah, that's a really cool touch. You don't see that anymore. All right, let's go check out the kitchen. All right. Oh, this is stunning. The original layout with the original kitchen, it was this like little U, and they had jam-packed a ton of cabinets in. Yeah. But it wasn't functional, it felt very closed off. So we actually have a little bit of fewer cabinets mm -hmm. here, but I think it feels much bigger and more open and much more actually like efficient and functional.